Greetings, folks. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And unfortunately, we didn't get the Wii U version. Crosscode, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Crosscode. This is actually my second attempt at recording this because the last time that I tried recording, well, the record, the recording was fine. But when I tried to render, it was not. So, let's just try this again. And you'll never know that it, the other one didn't happen, right? I know you can hear me. Where is he? Shizuka, I have to ask you to leave. So, you keep him here. What do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and make him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'll go and make some talk. Some sense into him. Don't get in my way. Voice acting is bad for me. So, yes. Shizuka, please don't do this. So yeah, this is pretty linear right here. Lovely little interactive uh, stuffs with the, the, the foreground and whatnot. Can't do anything right now. Whoa. And you have this border. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? Press D. Meow. Attack. This game is so much fun. Very, um... You have to do better than that. It has a very... Legend of Zelda, Chrono Trigger-esque form to it. It's action-adventure, puzzle platformer. It's actually very fun. I've played the demo already fully. You know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Cold based, how very creative. Whoop. I got hit. That height. Yeah. With the heat. How surprising. So right now it's pretty linear because it's the demo story, but it takes about an hour. Almost there. If you interrupt him, all of his hard work will be lost. Don't do this. So, it never should have happened in the first place. Another fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. Oh, yeah. You can throw as many enemies as it. You can throw as many enemies at me as you like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. The border per those fights reminds me a lot of Transistor. If you've never played Transistor, you totally should. Sound design in here is pretty good too with the wooden floors. You get our could get a little annoying after a while though, but fortunately it doesn't last long. Satoshi? Sister. What do you think you're doing? You're in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finish this, and they will let you go. No! I don't want this! Satoshi, stop it! It is done. No! Shizuka, I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry I got you involved with this. Just promise me that you will get away, please. Hmm? There you are. Initialization successful. Hmm. Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Hmm. Apparently. Well, something had to go wrong. But you understand me, correct? Hmm? Okay. We'll make it work, somehow. You are probably confused about this situation, correct? Hmm. All right, let's take small steps. Do you remember a VRP? Hmm? Virtual ricochet projectile? Hmm? Balls? <gasps> hmm. Okay, you seem to remember. Carla, we're ready. Please initiate the training sequence. BRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They're basically like balls. Your task is to hit all these robots with BRP. So give it a shot, or rather, a throw. Hmm. So if you hold, if you throw it like this, right, you'll notice that there's these orange sort of lines that are merging. The more often you throw, they'll merge and stay th stay like that, and your accuracy improves significantly. If you hold it, they merge, and then, boom, that happens. So your accuracy is better that way. It takes some skill to get used to. Nice work! Hmm. Well, just to be sure, let's repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Ugh. Something particular about VRPs, they are not affected by gravity. Thus, no matter how far you throw, VRP won't fall to the ground. Doink. The most frustrating thing about this little training session is that you're floating and it changes your orientation whenever you're... So you can actually miss because of elevation related issues, but it does move the camera, which is nice. As it says, A, move the cursor towards the edge of the screen. I missed one over here. Next. Very good. Okay, next, let us enable the charge mode. Charge mode activated. You activate charged balls by aiming for a longer time. Let us practice right away. Charge mode allows for throwing a larger VRP. Those charged VRP will ricochet on walls. See, is the reason for their name. Using charged VRP, you can hit the target with the red circle. Easy enough, right? I, I had such a hard time with this the first time. So now, when I do that, it does that charge. Yeah? Wait a minute, that was weird. Interesting. Aww. I have to do it this way, then. So if you'll notice, it's... Ah, oh, finally. Okay, enough VRP practice. It's about time to put you down on your feet. Carla, we're done here. Can you terminate the flotation sequence? That'd be nice to do earlier, damn it! And also, can you clear up this, like, filter effect? That'd be great. Hey there, girl! Welcome to our cozy cargo hold! My name's Carla. Nice to meet you. Ugh. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there is an issue with her speech synchronization. She still understands us, though. Understands us? Understands. 
I'm trying to get Carla to be a little sassier in my voice. I don't want to go too super racially <laughs> stereotypical, though. No way. Is there a way to fix this? I don't know yet. We'll have to look at it. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other. Nonverbal communication, you know? Hmm? Atta girl? Still kind of would like to know your name. Sergey. Or is it Sergey? Or is it Sergey? Or Sergey? I'll go for Sergey. Why not? Can you help us out here? Right. Her name is Leah. Leah? Why ain't that sweet? Uh, well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you prepared for what's coming. Ball throwing and the like, you know? And I just got the right thing prepared for you. Follow me. Wow. Have you noticed I get slower? Oh, you know what? I haven't done anything in here yet. Ooh, computer time. Hey there. Girl, I'd appreciate you didn't step on my stuff like that. Hey, this is an, this is an RPG. This is an action RPG. It's explore exploration game mode. Can I get out? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm guessing somebody got stuck in there like, Hey, I need to get the fuck out of here. Because I didn't look around last time, which is my bad, because I'm a horrible person sometimes. Oh yeah, and you can tend, you typically have the ability to climb on pretty much everything. I do enjoy the little arrows, and you can have to click on her to talk to her. Just leap through the door when you're ready. Hmm. And here comes the puzzle elements. All right, let's get started. Uh, your task is to reach the other door at the, is to reach the door at the other end of this room. And don't mind me, I'll just stick along and keep an eye on you. Well, I might give you some hints if you ask like, nicely, you know. Well, I've already done this, so I know what I need to do. So, boink. Oh yeah, never mind the visor. I just need to see what you're doing. Huh? Don't worry about it for now. We'll explain it to you later on. You're an idiot, and we're not going to let you know things. Crap. Now, what I didn't do is show you how that would have failed. If you just throw normal, you wouldn't go through. You have to charge it up. But I should uh, have an option later, too. Oh, that does go through. Never mind. Doesn't go through there. But we gotta bounce. And again... Well, you don't know this because you weren't, you weren't able to watch the video. And I gotta do this. I had a problem last time, I couldn't get through. I was like, what do I do? That's not what you do right there. No. She doesn't really say anything important, to be honest. But if you really want to. If you really wanna find out what she has to say, Girl, you sure are natural with that ball thing. Carly, they call VRP, not balls. Ah, oh, come on, nobody calls them like that anymore, you know? Unfortunately, yes. Is it too crude for you there, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. This one doesn't take charge. You gotta hit it multiple times. Well done, that was... Yeah, that was all. It's a small room. Anything else in here? Not. Ah, finally. This one's my favorite. Here you can go wild on these mouse robots. It's a moving target practice. Have fun, girl. This gets very hectic, as you may be able to may be aware. It gets even crazier, especially when trying to accomplish various other tasks. Damn it, I forgot they fall off there. So let's go back, kick their ass again.
Fortunately, I get melee attacks later, so that's not that big of a deal. And even specials. But you, you really get most of the, uh, the true experience in the exploration mode, which is one of the reasons why this demo is so amazing. But I'm showing you the storyline first because I want to want to give you the right understanding of everything. Ah, come on, you move a lot slower when you're doing that. Which sucks. Apparently, somebody had a fun time putting this together. Apparently. There's a, um, a short puzzle mode as well. Whoa, slow there, girl. Just a short warning. Here, you'll meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean these things will in fact attack you. I need to reword that at some point. And by real, I mean these things will in fact attack you. <gasps> don't get, don't you get me wrong. These enemies are really easy, but still. If you manage to get beat down at Reese Point Pond is Respawn point is right in his room. Mm -hmm. uh, that means there's no real danger. Go ahead, kick some ass. Ah, just a moment. Let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. Dash activated. <gasps> dash is essential in battle since it helps you to quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Right he is. Now please enter to the right in order to proceed with the ass kicking. Yeah, I know how to dash. Bit of advice, hit them with the charge balls, cancel their attacks, you yeah, know. Played enough of this already, damn it, woman. It's still kind of a pain in the ass because it's such a small room. And I don't have a melee attack. I found that if you're moving away from the target, aiming at him and firing, it tends to be a lot easier because you have you're moving so slow when you're doing that because you know notice this speed versus that speed. And if you're moving towards it, well obviously that's not good for you because then you'll be hurt. Or at the very least they will be able to get to you quicker. Hey champ, get your adrenaline down for a second. We gotta add a bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. I see you got your attention. Sergey, you finished? Yes, unlocking virtual proximity impact now. Virtual proximity impact. Melee. You can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only them close ones, of course. You got that? Mm. Sharpest blade. Now start by clearing that path for us, will you? Yeah, it's interesting because like if you fire outside of a point, But if you fire inside of a point, you change your weapon attack. It makes for interesting combat, I will admit. Wait there, set. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I know. A second weight is an attack wasted. Still, you should know what your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some hostile attacks. So you can just pummel your opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. <gasps> Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get them. Alrighty then. Like that, you mean? <laughs> it looks easy right now, because it is. I forgot you were there, jackass. And another victory for a fearless gladiator, Leia. A boxing gladiator? These guys are so much easier than what's in the puzzle area. I mean, it's just button mashing, basically. Ah, crap. Could have busted that box. I sure can't beat skill. And you just crushed fifth. Ah, congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you never forgotten the basics at all. Mm -hmm. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose it's about time we explain all the circumstances. Maybe you could have done that earlier. You bet it is. So let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leia as well. Good idea. 
Better not keep, to, better not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah. Right this way. I'm still trying to do this too fast. The last time I did this, I was trying to run, 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 run. Especially with my vocals. All right. Up to the bridge. Oh, yeah. Leah? Just a heads up. Don't worry about the captain being a bit on the grumpy side. That's just the way he is. Mm -hmm. So freaking hot in here. It's very 16 slash 8 bit. Cap, I'm back with the report. I see. Go on. Initiation, a total cinch. Here's the avatar. Leah, she's called. Aye. Hard to miss that last. Hope you didn't run into anything with those horns there. Huh? <gasps> Wait. Don't you tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah? Uh... Anyway, make sure you'll clean up the mess you started down in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Cap. I hope Sergei is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just let me set up your headset for a sec. Dink -a -dink. Hello there, Jet. My good man. It's been a long time. Indeed. You're still clinging to that jetpack, I see. You know I'd never travel to sea without good old Betty. Anyway, I hope you two will be ready to travel on soon. An avatar on board just calls for darn trouble. Of course. We'll make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Also, ain't we talking to Jet, former VRP dueling champ? Keep telling us about all your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leia a small combat lesson. Hmm. You're telling me that little lass is up for a battle? Oh, you bet she is. Right. We'll see about that. You just talk to me later in the day. Sweet. Now then, you're excused. You can show the lass around the ship, but don't just stir up any trouble. All right, Captain. Come on, Leah. It's time for some fresh air. Welcome on board the MS Solar. Is it solar powered? Please tell me it's solar powered. It's cargo boat. What the hell? What's going on with this cargo boat? Half your son's missing. Quite the ship, huh? Hmm. You know, the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards Rhombus Square. That's a funny joke. Because they're both shapes and they're both four-sided. That are also parallelograms. And also, uh, they're equal-sided. The only difference between the two is that a square has 90 degree angles on all four corners. And a rhombus is basically two isosceles triangles connected to each other. Well, actually two equilateral triangles. Maybe. Not always though. So yeah. But probably. That's some look at. Hmm? Actually, we don't... Why don't we just go to the bow and explain later the situation? Really, you gotta explain it another portion of the boat? Seeing Rhombus Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Okay, maybe that makes sense. Hey, good thinking, Sergey. Follow me, Leah. But I don't want to follow you. I want to dance. I want to dance. I want to dance. Dance, dance, dance. Elevator song, dance. I'm gonna blow up boxes if I can. There she is, the Avatar! And she's a Spheromancer class. How awesome is that? Hmm? I gotta be your first fan, Leah. Hmm. Hey there, Carla. Good to see you. How about these strange boxes here? Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now, I have to take care of the Avatar, you know? I'll do it later today, okay? See you later. 
Here she goes again. She said the same, exactly the same thing yesterday. The spirit mats are so awesome! I may have done those voices <laughs> slightly off, I don't know. There's so many damn voices in this room. <laughs> or people. But I was just ahead. It's a bit of a walk, though. Just follow me! Can I walk up here? Carla, what are all those destructible do boxes doing in our room anyway? I'm just practicing how to use those things, you know? Probably should have done that somewhere else. Probably. Now, girl, have a look at this. Okay, how to start this. How about, welcome to Cross Worlds. Hmm? One step after another, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of an MMOG? Let's say no. Mm -mm. Well, MMOG stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Game. Really now? It's a video game that supports a large number of players simultaneously. Usually, all these players are connected to the virtual environment from all around the world. Now, Crossroads is like an MMOG, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. These avatars are the physical shape and tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Leia, are currently logged into this game as well. It's a little meta. But you'll get a better understanding of it soon. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, me? No, I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. That's right. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Cross Worlds. The actual game takes place in the land you see over there. The playground. The reason you're here, Leia, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory. We try to receive it, retrieve it again. And we try to receive it again. They do need to fix a little bit on the uh, dialogue, but that's okay because it's been funded and no big deal. <gasps> you see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that's why we'll need to try to get you into the playground, the real playground, soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to this glass palace of a city over there. Whoa. That's Rama Square. It's where all players start. It's pretty. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then. I think this is a good time to split. We'll go to the captain, tell him, help him set that combat lesson up for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? Meet me later nearby the captain. Till then, just make sure not to drop into the water, girl. Yeah, swimming is not a good idea. It hurts. By the way, Leah, I had a closer look at those speech synchronization issues. I'm afraid I don't think I'll be able to fix those issues soon. Aww. However, I found a little workaround. I might be able to hard code specific audio patterns into your speech module. That means you'll be able to say certain words. <gasps> That should help a bit, correct? So let's try this out. New word embedded. Hi. 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 Hi, hi, hi! It works! That should help you start some conversations with the crew here. Alright then. Let's go take care of a couple of things. I'm gonna go clear out that cargo hold, because it's fun. Took me a little while to pick up on it first. And then I'll explore the boat a little bit. There we are. Ooh, Miss Avatar's back! Hi! Well, she can talk now! Gee, calm down there, fella. Anyway, Carla just passed by us again. She told us that you take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really, can you believe this one? Now she's loading off work on our guests. Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy these boxes with your Avatar weapons, right? Mm hmm Awesome! Please, I want to see that. Well, no pressure, you know. You are a guest after all. But you'd help us out a lot. Mm hmm So we destroy the boxes for us? Mm-hmm. Yes! Show us the balls! <laughs> this game, I swear. 
<clears throat> Woo, this is amazing. Oh, it certainly works. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Gotta hit it on the side. So you can notice over here, it, you can damage it, but on the other side it's protected, so. What I can do here is, it did not work like I expected. Well, shit. see any balls only those boxes disappearing for whatever reason ah you need to wear these AR goggles to see them the balls are and their impact are all like virtual and stuff I see so that's why you have these weird yeah, you've been wearing these goofy glasses all the time goofy you know nothing about style lady yeah whatever anyway thanks for a lot of the help a lot for the help yes thank you so much miss avatar He's such a fanboy, it's amazing. Get on the elevator. Alright, let's go to the first, fourth floor. Screw it. Let's go from bottom, or top to bottom. Hi! Are you looking for the captain? I think he's currently somewhere in the cabins. Indeed, even the captain needs a break once in a while. Nobody else. Good. Let's go here, see if anybody's out here. Probably not. Just gonna do a thorough sort of walk around on each floor. I wish I could climb up that and get up there. I won't let me. Floor number three, cabins. Somebody sitting over here. Who are you? Can't talk. Must defeat respawn enemy. He's playing what looks like Final Fantasy or something along those lines. I thought they canceled this game. No, it's just the old demo. Oh, it must be the old demo for this game that I'm playing. Oh, well. This is pretty end of the game. We better let him play. It is an RPG game of some form, but it definitely looks like like some sort of Final Fantasy style game. So, oh, look at this mess. The cabin was surely not like this. Can't clean it up either. Huh? Wanna know why? Yeah. Jet has strict order around the ship. Every room needs to be cleaned before work. I wonder how these guys manage to skip Jet's daily control visit. I love the jumping mechanics because I mean it's I mean it's not jumping at all really. You're just moving and she jumps on her own. But because of that, you can like jump on all sorts of stuff. So I can jump on this table. Jump on the book. Oh, I fell off. Let's try it here. And then oh, I can't jump on the bed. Oh well. It's the Avatar the Cap told us about. Hi! Oh, feel free to check out the ship. It's one of the small ships of the solar class, but it does its job. Hmm. Just checked out the room across. Huh? Don't mind it. Normally every room has to be clean. Somehow she manages to get around Cap Jet's control tours. I wonder who she is. Is that poop? That looks like a toy though with a frowny face on it. Those trash cans. Is your voice finally back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. I am Groot. Wait, that ain't right. Her speech synchronization is still malfunctioning. I just hard coded the word hi into her speech module. That's all she can say for now. I'm currently working on adding more words. I see, it's a beginning, I suppose. Anyway, Cap, and I have been planning out your combat training, girl. We're almost set. 
Good to go, right? I. This is gonna be interesting. So I'll be off to my cabin for some last preparations. We don't have no time, so just stick with the cabin, okay? See you later. Yeah, so we're gonna go back there and we're gonna confront her about our dirty room. Hi, I'll be at the bridge. You can talk to me when you're ready for the lesson. Make sure you're prepared. I'll be asking for your full attention. You two over there. Make sure you clean up the kitchen after you're done cooking. Understood? Aye, aye, Captain. It's not like we forgot since the last time he told us. Yeah, wasn't that yesterday? <laughs> well, welcome to the military or something similar. You'll be told. I'm surprised they only told him once a day. Let's see. I don't think there's anywhere else I need to go. Let's go to the first floor. Let's go to the deck. Talk to people outside. I'm already talking to these nut jobs. There's a dude right outside the door. Yep. Ah, look who's there. You must be that avatar, right? Well, welcome to the MS Solar. If you get over the rail in a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. Huh? Boy. Make sure you don't fall into the sea. Pretty sure Avatar is your baddest woman. Nito. Who are you? Hi! Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Huh. Oh, right, I remember now. You're that pseudo robot thing. Huh? Oh, no offense. You see, I just recently had this discussion with a colleague, and it was about Avatar being the same as robots, and. I have, n I have to insist they are not. Avatar are just some fragile temporary collection of instant matter. Everybody knows real robots are made of metal, like those beauties here. So I can't just share my excitement and my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar, no true robot, see? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so if you'd excuse me. Robot purists, am I right? Oh. Hardcore, hi! Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I'm busy checking the containers here. Hmm. Anybody else? Any magic stuff? Guess not. <laughs> there's a wall or something. Hey, there's people. Oh my, that's some extremely colored hair you got there. Hmm? Huh? I've already heard that avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? And those horns, too. Uh, uh, you're not happy about them, neither, huh? Now I have to wonder who put those things onto you. I don't know what whistle that's supposed to be, so... There we go. Hi! Oh, avatar incoming. I must say, I'm surprised. I expect the embodiment of some gamer kitty's wildest dreams. Lots of beefcake and such. Well, I mean, it's a girl. She's got boobies, a pretty hair, and she has a nice visage, i.e. face. So, she could be the embodiment of the Gamer Kitty dream wildest dreams. Just, you know, in female form instead of big bulky man, you know, bro. Yep, here we have such a cute girl. Mm -hmm. She's even blushing. Too bad that doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Huh? Just like in the old days at MMOs, some things never change. It's true. I love the commentary that this game provides. There's some fun little items in the exploration area too that are very game referential and they're very, very obvious. Extremely obvious. Solar panels. Oops. Hi! Hello there. You must be a guest on this ship, right? Uh, why, don't be shy. The seamen may look rough, but we're really easy fo going folks, really. You wanna know what I'm doing here? Yep. Mm hmm I'm currently checking up on the solar panels here. These are our primary energy source, so they better work properly. Otherwise, our nice and shiny MS solar won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. Huh, I suppose this guy did not even notice you were an avatar. Well, the human appearance can be pretty convincing, despite the flamboyant craziness. Save for the hair color. And the horns. And everything else. What? Just because I was too quick about cleaning duty? Wasn't really that much. Well, if you keep this up, people will notice. Before you know it, y'all be cleaning the whole deck back to front every day. 
Uh, Okie dokie. Basically saying, hey, don't work your ass off and make us all look bad because we're lazy fucks. Or something like that. Captain waiting. Wait, Carla, is this your room? Sure is. Something wrong with it? How did you do it? Uh, do what? This room? I did nothing. I can see that. I mean, how did Jet not see this room? Ah, I see. Well, you'll have to wait for another time for my secrets, I guess. I'm sure the Cap wants to start teaching Leah some new tricks. Hmm. What? And you agree, Leah? Well, I guess we go then. Alright then. This is weird. Hmm? How does Carla do it? I will find it out someday. I know it. Damn wall. Can't navigate itself. There you are. It's pretty darn time for your combat lesson. You ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's go to the balcony. Good. Here we are. Carla, are you ready up there? Yes, Cap. Don't forget the goggles. All right. I've been wearing nose for some time. All right, then. Time to start. I was told you learned the basics down in the cargo hold. Mm -hmm. Still, I first wanna sh want you to show me your grip on aiming and throwing. Carla, prepare your target bot. Time to say hello to an old friend. Hello, old friend target bot. Listen carefully. I want you to hit this robot from this distance ten times. And do it quickly, got that? Got that? Hmm? And as I said before... I see, you understand the basics well enough. Things will make, this will make things easier. Carla, we need that turret now. Now see, if I had done that wrong, he would have told me how to do it so I probably maybe should have done it the other way but that's why you play it and do and enjoy it yourself because then it's a learning experience you get to experience time to turn on old Betty next we'll be practicing the dash the turret will now start shooting at you I want you to do two things first keep your aim at the turret but don't throw anything second dodge the bullets of the turret without losing your aim all right, then let's start. Yeah, this is annoying. Nice work. Enough with dodging. I'll try to handle this attack last. Yeah, I don't have... I won't be able to. Ow. What the heck was that? Don't you know how to do a darn guard lass? Actually, Jet, as a matter of fact, she doesn't. I forgot to activate her guard module. Sergey, are you serious? You can't send that lass into battle without a proper shield? Yes, I'll fix that right now. Why do you have all of these things turned off? What the fuck is wrong with you, Sergey? Good. So you need to have your shield. Need an instruction on how it works? No, because I know how to do it. Uh-uh. Just gotta hold down the right mouse button. Aye. Then let's have another go. You can do better than that. Let's try this again. Fine. Note the difference. Very good. That's all the basics I can teach you for now. Now, to round everything up, let's have a proper battle against the turret where you can use everything you've learned. Though there will be a surprise waiting for you. 
I'll let you take a short breather. Talk to me when you're ready. I'm fucking ready now. Screw it. So you ready for the battle? Hmm? Let's see. That's what I like to hear. Let's get the battle beginning. That's sad words, too. Oops. She'll keep coming on. Damn it. Jerk face. Captain! I'm sorry to interrupt, but we need you on the pitch right now! What is the matter? Some of this broker's approaching us, and quickly. What a darn timing. Sorry, lass, we have to stop here. Duty calls. Carla, can you clean up the balcony first and come to the bridge afterwards? Understood. Girl, I have no idea what's going on here, but it'd be better for you to go inside, too. Well, I don't have really an option, do I? Still on the radar, approaching us, approaching us at high velocity. No transmission. No darn ship to see. What is going on here? Captain, I think I caught it on satellite. You gotta see this. It's a flying person. Is it a Super Saiyan? Kind of reminded of Xenogears a little bit. What a particular location we have here. It's a darn cargo ship, you dubber. You look like someone who jumped right out, right out across worlds. This ship is not part of the bloody playground. So don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place. Yet we perceive the presence of another misplaced individual. This is none of your bloody business. Get off this ship and come back to the game you came from. Foolish mortal, do you truly believe will we, we will abide to your command? Did you just call me a mortal? You nutcase. Sounds like the dude's coming from video game land, because, you know, beauty mortal. You better leave right now, or I'll be glad to tighten your grip on reality. You bore us. We will choose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Anyway, our search has already been concluded. Hi. You. You do not belong here. You need to be removed. Huh? Wait. You seem all too familiar. Huh? Why? It can't be. Indeed. It might be a mere coincidence. Oh, but we most definitely have a way to be certain. What a convenient stage we've got here. Now, it is time to face your trial. Uh, let us see if you are the genuine article. A display of your talents shall suffice as proof. Leah, do you hear me? I'm about as confused about this whole situation as you are. It is clearly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take on this challenge and keep him busy. I know this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I'm confident you will be able to handle this. Hmm. Because I can see its battle stats. They match your level. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> <sighs>
spinning motion, one cannot find it twice in this world. Truly, there is no doubt about it. When was the last time we have laid eyes upon you? You within your uncompleted vessel. Yes, you have our utmost interest. You will come with us. Greetings from the solar fist, you pile of instant matter. What's this? Your divine powers can't handle a proper explosion? Why, you... This is preposterous! Huh? Okay, lass. You need to get off this ship right now. Huh? Carla, bring her back to the teleporter as fast as possible. And tell me once she has left the ship. I'll make sure no trace of cross worlds will be left on this ship. Got it, Cap. Follow me, girl. And time for the runny, runny, run round with the fast musics. But wait, it's not going to be that easy, is it? Nope. Well, well. Our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will. I already caught up. Leah, those are high level opponents. Don't fight them and run to the teleporter. Hmm. Alright then. We can sense your fear. Your every step. Your escape is futile. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you won't. Jump over the container, girl. Whee! I'm trying to jump. No. Ow! Sure. That never happened last time. Fuck. There we go. It wouldn't matter anyway. This, these are too tall. I forgot. Oh, shit. Can't get around there. Damn. How are we going to pass this one? Wait, I got an idea. Extra levels. Ah, it's the matter at your service. I love the way this looks. There we are again. Time for you to leave this party. Aww. Come on, sweetie. This is not the time for a tearful goodbyes. It's time to get the fuck out of here is what it looks like. Besides, these, there are these guys. Goodbye, Leah. Enjoy Crossworlds. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Crossworlds demo. Cross code, sorry. Cross code. Cross code demo. It was fun. Got to do that again. Fortunately, this time around, my uh, FPS isn't like tanking down to eight like it was when I did this originally. And I've also remember, uh, there are times where I'd like to have, oh, now the DPA, FPS is dropping. I don't know what the hell's going on with this. But anyway, I highly recommend downloading this. I'll provide a link to the uh, Indiegogo site where you can download it. It's free. Um, and again, there's even exploration mode, which I will most likely start up at some point. I've already got a saved file, which incidentally, I was not even aware there was an ability to save, so I basically played it for about two and a half hours without knowing that you could save. Um, granted, part of that was just minimizing the game and doing other things, but still. Uh, I heart pie gaming. Yeah, look at that slow, slow FPS. But that's okay, it happens get to see all these names more so yeah <laughs> but yeah uh, occasionally using uh, a gamepad would feel better uh, there are times where I would just rather like click gamepad or something but I don't own one so I won't have to worry about that right now and I've done a lot of clicking with mice in the past so it's not really a big issue for me music's awesome. It definitely reminds me of my RPG days, Final Fantasy VII, Chrono Trigger, Xenogears, even 
Zelda Link to the Past. And there you have it, ladies and germs. The CrossCode Story Demo. The CrossCode Demo Story. I'll let you enjoy some of this music and then and then that's it see you next time <laughs>